The most recent systematic review of aphasia therapy demonstrated that it is effective overall. But there are many more questions to answer. One question that clinicians, people with aphasia and funding bodies want to know the answer to is, is it better to have a given dose of therapy at a higher intensity or a lower intensity? This question is important to get the best outcome from patients, time and effort and for the best use of funding. Higher intensity treatment is supported by principles of neuroplasticity. The brain should make stronger connections with high repetitions over a shorter period. But this is based on motor skills and animal models, not aphasia. On the other hand, lower intensity is supported by cognitive learning. Repeating things over a more distributed period should improve long-term recall. We investigated this question by finding studies that compared the same amount of therapy at a higher and a lower intensity in chronic aphasia. Overall, our analysis didn't find a strong difference, although there were very few papers to look at. Importantly, all of the treatments were effective, from 3 to 15 hours of treatment each week. This answer is not conclusive and it needs larger, higher quality studies that directly compare different schedules with the same amount of therapy. And there are so many other factors in what makes treatment effective, so it may not be possible to have a black and white answer. Instead, the best schedule may depend on a sophisticated algorithm that combines a person's age, aphasia characteristics, and lesion properties.